So when you hear the name Takashi Mige, most audiences just picture a very particular type of film. Weird, funny, or just super violent. You know, Happiness of the Katakuris, Audition, Ichi the Killer, films that are really not for everyone. But from time to time, he's proven that he can make movies geared towards the average audience. You know, 13 Assassins comes to mind. It was an awesome samurai action film. One of the best action movies ever made. But before that, Mike made another film, also set during a samurai time period. It's technically more of a period drama than a samurai film. And it's a 2002 film titled Sabu. So this is sort of a badass samurai prison movie. And I don't think I've ever heard of that or seen that. And it's actually a for a television movie. But, you know, when you watch it, it doesn't really feel like one. And it's actually filmed quite well. So the story follows the life of Eiji. It's played by Tatsuya Fujiwara. And he's an inmate at an island prison camp. He was arrested for a crime that he did not commit. And his friend Sabu is from the outside world. He's played by Satoshi Sumabuki. He visits him and offers him some assistance. But the problem is that no one knows where Eiji is in prison or why he was fired from his job. And if Sabu pushes his investigation too hard, then he could also suffer the same fate. And the film lets us know early on that our protagonists have suffered a very difficult life. They either lost their parents at a very young age, or they were sent off to work long, hard hours instead of enjoying their youthful years. Unfortunately, their adult years are no easier. And really one of the themes of the film is just how hopeless and poor people were at this time period. Basically, if you just wanted to have enough food just to survive, you had to work long, hard hours. And I know some of you may be feeling the same way in this economy, I know I am. But the film just does a really good job at depicting just this exhausting struggle to survive. And adding insult to injury, the main protagonists are just often pushed around, they're beaten a lot. They're basically treated as subhuman by the higher classes above them. Also, the film probably should have been called A.G. instead of Sabu, because he's definitely more the focus of the film. But an interesting thing that the film does is it does change some of the character dynamics. Some characters that you disliked at first often change later on. And you might even start to like them. And I really wasn't expecting that sort of level of deepness from a film like this, so that was a nice surprise. Sort of makes the film stand out on its own. Performance by the cast is good. I do prefer Sumabuki's acting, but I will say Fujiroro did do a really good job in this film as well. On the negative side, I did find that the movie moved a little bit too slow. The pacing overall definitely could have just used some help. And at two hours, you know, you definitely feel it. It should have been much shorter. There's just long stretches of the film that will feature just two characters facing one another and just speaking. Goes on and on. And being that the film is more plot driven than action driven, I could definitely see some people just getting bored with this film. So just keep that in mind. This is definitely not the all out action that 13 Assassins is. Actually nothing really is. But still the movie should go a long way just silencing those critics that accuse Mike of being too dependent on Yakuza mayhem. And just the usual cliches that are attributed to Mike's works. But it's a film that just shows that Mike is capable of more than just shocking the audience with violence. And the film itself as a historical document is beautiful. Perhaps Mike wanted to show much like Kurosawa that even in the era of samurai, ordinary people also led lives that had a lot of drama much like modern times. Anyway, have any of you seen this film? Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like Mike films? Leave a thumbs up, subscribe. You could also support the channel through my Patreon. And like always, thanks for watching.